close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. And as you stay here, try to make the breath comfortable. You can try longer breathing, shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. See what rhythm feels good for the body right now, a rhythm that the mind can stay with. As for anything else that comes up, you don't have to pay it any attention. This is an important principle as we lead our lives. We don't want our state of mind to have to depend on the environment outside. We want to be able to generate a good state of mind from within, so that regardless of how things are going outside, the mind is stable, clear, with a sense of well-being inside. The breath helps. When we learn how to tell what kind of breath is good for the body right now, it feels good to be right here. When the mind feels good in the body, then it's a lot easier for it to stay and not have to feel that it has to go jumping out here, jumping out there to find happiness. When you start from a sense of well-being inside, then you're more in control. It's when you're hungry inside that the world outside can have power over you. People can make you do what they want you to do because you're hungry or afraid or feel threatened or whatever the emotion is. So you want to be able to have the mind in a position where it's not subject to those emotions, or at the very least is not a slave to them. You want to be in charge. So put yourself in a position of strength. Right here with the breath, you're inhabiting your own body. This is where the mind belongs. This is its territory. Nobody else can come in here unless you let their attitudes come in. And the choice is yours. So stay right here. You want your mind state to be able to dictate the environment around you, not the other way around. You find that when the mind is calm, clear, you have a calm, clear impact on the people around you. And that's all for the good. However, the mind is weak, then you get influenced by their moods. And who knows where their moods are going to lead you. So develop a good, solid state inside. Regard this as your position of strength. And that way you don't have to be a slave to the world around you. And your state of mind won't have to depend on the world around you, which means your goodness doesn't have to depend on things. goodness outside. You can generate goodness from within. And that's when you're safe. <laughs>